back everybody to another episode of Make It Modern. Today we are going to be tackling our laundry closet. It is a bit dodgy, so stay tuned for a couple of tips and tricks how you can make your laundry closet a modern laundry closet. If you are new to our channel, thanks so much for tuning in. Just a little bit of background behind myself and Davin. Him and I, we take our 1980s home and we turn it into a modern abode that fits us and our needs on a budget. If you like that sort of thing, consider watching the rest of this video. Check it out, see if you like it. And if you do, consider subscribing to our channel. So, as you can see, we did remove the doors and we do have exciting plans for cladding those and making those a little bit more fun in this kind of boring hallway. But some of the issues we have with this laundry closet here is this shelf. I'm pretty sure it's older than the house. It, this shelf was here and then the house came. That's how old this shelf is. This is quite literally just popped into the wall there. And then this here, I have no idea what it is. My dad told me to lick it to find out. Thanks, Dad. And then there's just not a whole lot of storage options. So we're thinking of adding another shelf up here. We're gonna replace this light. We are going to just kind of update the electrical and water situation back there. It's a bit scary. And last but not least, there is a whole lot of wasted space and please do not judge us. We do have hairy dogs that just collects dog hair. So that's what we'll be tackling. Oh, there's a cricket. So we have some holes to fill here on the wall and you can't just go filling holes all willy-nilly. I actually just got back from the dollar store and picked up these mesh wall patches. It's just a steel plate here to provide some support along with some adhesive mesh backing. That way you can put the drywall compound right on that, smooth it in, and it fills the hole quite nicely. Extremely well, I would say, for an extremely extreme value. These were only about $1.49. I just got back from Ace Hardware and they wanted about $6 for one of these. So if you want to save some money, definitely recommend going to your local dollar store. I also picked up a pack of three of the drywall putty knives. We got this one from Home Depot. This one was about eight bucks. So this is definitely the way to do it on a budget. And you're going to have an extreme amount of fun filling these extreme holes. So while we wait for that to dry, we're going to replace our old valves. I did go to Ace Hardware, got two of these one red and one blue. They're about 10 bucks a piece. So for 20 bucks, we got brand new valves. Also wanna make sure that you pick up some plumber's tape. This is about a dollar or so. And we had some of these lying around already. These are some pliers. So let's go ahead and get those old ones out and we'll get this new one in. All right, so the easiest thing that I found with getting these on, even if they can be a little tight, is to actually thread them on backwards at first. That way you know you have a good seat inside and you're not cross-threading it. So I usually like to go backwards. There we go. Now that I can feel that I'm actually in there with the threads, give it a good little tighten. Make sure it's nice and straight. And we're gonna turn the water on right now, so it is important to make sure that these valves are closed. It's paint time. I'm not hot. So we are going to switch out this old ugly uh, outlet here. As you can see, it's kind of brown, a little bit old. We're going to upgrade it. So we did turn off the power, but we have been shocked before. So we have this little handy dandy tester here. And <gasps> this just in, we're live. That's not good. Well, okay, but really, why are we live? We're good. Okay, now that we've got them all unscrewed, the black ones are going to be the hot wires. In this instance, it'll go to the gold screws. The, I don't know, 
taupe colored one. It's technically white, but our house is really old. Um, that's gonna go into these silver ones. And then this guy right here, this is the ground wire. So that'll go in the bottom. Uh, usually it's green, in this case it's teal. Aquamarine. All right, I need a drink. So now it's time to address the lighting situation in the laundry closet. A few months back, we picked up this plug-in lamp from Ikea and we just really liked it because it has a really cool art deco style to it, really cool glass. But like I said, it is a plug-in lamp, so we are gonna have to make some modifications before we can put it up into the ceiling. So we'll have to go to the garage for that. By the way, this is what it's called. I'm not even gonna try and butcher that name. We're now in the garage and I have the lamp right here. First thing that we're going to do is use our wire clippers and just clip off a good amount to expose the wires here. You should be able to pull it apart quite easily. I've already done that. Give yourself quite a bit of space and just so you know, when it comes to actually installing this, I am going to cut the wire a lot closer to the base and not this much. It's just a little bit easier for you guys to see here. But now we're going to use our wire clippers again and using the biggest notch or whichever one fits your wire. Give yourself about an inch to an inch and a half. That way when you strip it, you got plenty of wire to work with. That way you can put the nuts on there and you have a really good connection. So I'll go ahead and off camera, get this clipped up nice and close to the base and we'll get it up in the ceiling. We took this off. This is what was there before with just the light bulb, not too stylish. So now we are going to replace that with the bracket. Ignore all the squeaking, I am fat. The wall sconce, it comes apart. That way it's easier to put this together. So first, I'm going to connect these here, just using some twist on electrical caps. Make sure it's got a good tight seal. Next step is to just put it all together. We have the decorative plate. We went with gold here. I think that will look pretty nice. It just clips right on. Put in your light bulb. Screw in the glass. So that is in. Now the final step is for Hannah to go run to the front yard and turn on the power. Are you running out of breath? <laughs> this is what we were working with before and here's what we have now. So for those of you who are paying close attention, you might have already noticed that we have the shelf bracket up on the wall, but we do have to make a few adjustments. So Hannah's just working on that right now. So let's get that wrapped up and then we'll get it up on the wall. And we did it. The shelf is complete. It's really hard to believe that this is not just one solid piece of wood. We attain that by putting a 45 degree bevel cut on the edge of all of our pieces. That way when they butt it up against each other, you don't see any of the ply. You just see nice crisp corners. Now to finish up the look, I went to Walmart and picked up some trays and containers. This will hold all of our detergents and laundry supplies. We're also going to put some finishing touches like plants and artwork up here just to make it look really nice. So we'll get to that right now. Well, that is all that we have for you in this week's video, and that's part one of our laundry closet makeover. Be sure to stay tuned for part two, where we go ahead and add an accent wall, as well as a countertop with some built-in creature comforts. And as always, be sure that you like and subscribe. That lets YouTube know that you think we're cool, and they should too. While you're at it, go ahead and watch this video. And until then, we'll see you next time.